Hello again and welcome to the second story in our Christmas series. Before we have today's series, you might want to think about a time when you had a long, difficult journey. Maybe your car broke down. Maybe there was big delays on the roads. Maybe there was snow or ice. Maybe you're on a really packed train. Well, we'll be hearing about a, a journey in today's story. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Many years ago, God said that the Saviour of the world would be born in the town of Bethlehem. Joseph the carpenter lived in the town of Nazareth. One night, God sent the angel Gabriel to tell him that the baby Mary was expecting the promised Son of God and he was to marry Mary and take care of her and the baby. The Emperor Augustus wanted more tax money. He made a new law that everyone was to go to the town their ancestors came from to put their names on a list. So Joseph the carpenter had to go to Bethlehem. My ancestor David came from Bethlehem, Jesus told Mary. So I must go there to put my name on the list first. Even though your baby will be born soon, you'll have to come with me because God wants me to look after you. It took about three days to get to Bethlehem and Mary rode on the back of the donkey. It was a bumpy ride and Mary would have been very tired and very uncomfortable. So many people had come to put their name on the list at Bethlehem that there was nowhere for Mary and Joseph to stay except a smelly stable that animals slept in. No. <laughs> that night, baby Jesus, the promised saviour, was born in a stable in Bethlehem. A very bright star appeared in the sky, right above the place where he was born. Joseph and Mary called the baby Jesus, just like the angel Gabriel had told them. They wrapped him in a soft linen cloth and made him a bed in a manger box of hay. Have a nice day and hope that you'll tune in again soon for the next part of the Christmas story.